Hey, hi everyone. In this video, I am going to talk about the Claude artifacts. Like what are they, how we can use them, how you can publish your own artifacts online and how they generally help me in my day-to-day -day life. So first of all, let me tell you what artifacts are. So generally, uh, as you know, like ChatGPT launched GPTs, which can internally do a couple of more tasks than just replying to your text queries. Uh, they can run a function internally. They can call an API and they reply they give you a reply basically a formatted reply which is coming from not just gpt but they can utilize apis right that was the concept of gpts uh, but what claude did uh, claude made it a bit simpler and to be honest for a developer uh, much easier to create these smaller softwares with just talking to the ai so that's what we are going to do so artifacts if you don't know Whenever you write or ask any question to Claude, it will create an image. Like, let's say, uh, create a hello world HTML page with Tailwind CSS and hello world written in the middle with white color and a uh, by emoji also make the background dark gray right so i have asked the ai to do these things what uh, llm will do you see it's creating this artifact so it has created this page uh, but it has not done the thing which i which we wanted to so we can like the artifact can be run in their own internal window which you can which they call preview and uh, now there is the code which it has written. Uh, the one thing which it's not doing is, is not using the Tailwind CSS properly. So we can just talk to it and it will try to uh, like fix this issues. So what we want is like hello world, right? And uh, let's, let's do that. <clears throat> let's say uh, Tailwind CSS is not working in the example. Please fix it. Let's see what it replies with. Mm, nope, it's still not working. So I think it's a pretty bad example right now because it's not working with Tailwind CSS. I don't know why. Uh, wait, let me just see. Tailwind CSS installation. Maybe like Tailwind CSS has updated there. Uh, how you, you can install it on. Uh, okay, play CDN. What's in CDN? Hmm. Mm -mm -mm. So what I'll do is I'll just give all this to Claude here. This is uh, Tailwind CSS uh, documentation. Can you use this? Because in the artifact, it's not working. Oh, maybe it's not working because this browser cannot call any external endpoints. Got it. I have not used Tailwind CSS in this example. I just wanted to. So... I'm pretty sure that's what it's doing. It's blocking this script tag to call Tailwind CSS. So that's what one of the thing which we cannot do is use external uh, scripts. This is a limitation which I just found out uh, because uh, I have mostly written the code, like the JavaScript and everything in just one single file and not used any external libs for that. So that's what we'll do. What we'll do is now, okay, don't use Tailwind CSS, just use normal styling in the page with a button saying hello when clicked shows an alert right so we can just also plug it in like a javascript in it let's see what it does cool uh, it has written the code and if you go here you can click on hello it will not click like uh, show the alert here because well it's running internally in a frame uh, but technically, if you run this code in an HTML editor, let's do that. Let's go to Sublime. I'll paste it on the desktop, test.html. Yeah, replace it. If we go here, test.html. No, it's not here. It's in test.html. Okay. Yep, it's doing what we wanted to, right? It's actually clicking and alerting. So what I now want is uh, make two boxes uh, on both sides which are text area uh, they can only show border as 
blue color and divided equally right equally in the width and take 500px as height right. so let's see what it does so we are creating a small artifact which we will be using later on that's that's the only thing which we are doing right now and uh, yeah it has done it let's see perfect this is what we wanted uh be concise in your replies and don't okay <laughs> while we are creating this artifact i'll also show you one thing which we can do is we can work with a clot project so what i'll do is i'll use this code which it has given to me i can just copy it from here and i'll go to projects i'll create a new project right create a new project we'll name it uh, artifact demo we are creating a cloud artifact a small web app which we will publish and use for our use cases later this is what we are doing uh, don't like sometimes i just misspell something but lms are pretty good at understanding so i'll not waste my time there set instructions what i will do i will you are an expert software engineer and you write very optimized and uh, detailed code you do not write comments in the code where not needed only comment on complicated stuff right and never uh, leave a comment as rest of the code always write full code when replying in this project so sometimes what claude does uh, it just becomes lazy when your code becomes big and then you have to copy paste some of the code which i don't want here right so uh, here is a project which we are working on to so make the borders rounded and uh, border color as light gray i don't like that shiny blue color so let's see what this can give us here in this case okay perfect so here i can write something and here i can write something right perfect so what i will do is uh, uh, do the following tasks in this app one add a huge title on the top as json visual Lizer. Two, add the logic to check if the code added on the left side is a proper JSON. If not, show an error at the bottom of the left side box. So we want to add just these two features first in this application, in this artifact. So one of the thing is we cannot load these external uh, libs, which I really don't like. So what? Get random JSON data. Mm -mm, JSON generator. Generate. Okay. So we have some JSON data which we can try here. Invalid JSON unexpected at repeat is not a valid JSON. What's happening? Repeat okay this is not a valid json anything else invalid json at uh, position line number 10 maybe this okay let's remove this first okay this is working this is working mm, hello unexpected json OK, 
okay perfect so as you see like json visualizer is working fine if i paste something here the error is coming at the bottom and here uh, the formatting is happening now what we can do is i have a json file right default props it is a huge json file i have i can go here and paste it this file is perfectly fine right and this worked this showed us mm, nice now what we can do is there is no json this is perfect right you're getting if json is correct or not uh just to play with this a bit i will add try to add some things if it works or not we'll see remove uh, the visualize button as it's not needed one thing i don't need this button right here just a distraction okay now try to do this let's color format our visualized json and put some uh, toggles on showing and hiding json objects or arrays if array is hidden we should show the length of the array as well let's see this so yeah this is perfectly done and right here right you see this will not work but this will work it's great it's perfect uh okay uh, now we have asked something a bit complex and let's see if it can process this it's doing a lot of js 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 here like i haven't read the code at all so far right i don't know i'm just looking at it and it's giving me the answer so for some reason it did not give me the answer so let's see what happens Oh wow it does visualize it does show color uh, but okay it's hiding as well but something is wrong here something is very wrong here in this code so what we will do is um, okay uh, remove the visualization logic and keep it as it was before just make the uh preview json colored that's it that's it i think we are good at it because sometimes we just need i don't need a very good parser to see the data i just need uh if my json is right or wrong like it's is it's right json or not that's what the artifact will do let's see what it does already this okay mm, the right side box is now uh, not showing up please show that box empty when nothing is there let's see what it does so yeah some some styling issues are happening and it has started hallucinating or maybe missing some code so i'll go back to the previous code which it has written i think that was that was nice i like that code so this is becoming complex for it right it's not able to okay let's see hello world okay yeah it's it's back to normal so if you write it yep it's here back to normal one thing is it's already like not allowing me to edit here but can allow here you see it did allow but another thing it did, did not give me any error when i removed this part now this json is obviously not right uh but it's not giving me any error so there's a limitation to it but okay it's fine i guess for now so as you see now we can publish this uh unpublished only you have access publish and copy link publish link copied so what i generally do if i just go here plot site artifacts and don't show this warning again show the content of it please load okay it's here so what i'll do i'll just put it as in my bookmarks and rename it to wait, edit 
rename it to json visualizer and uh, yeah that's about it so if i click and open json visualizer i will see this and here i can just paste anything and it will give me if the json is right or wrong so we have just talked to llm we created a web app it's automatically hosted and it's a usable app which i can technically use so that's what the power of artifacts is you can just talk to llm create these small tools and this is what i wanted to share in this video if you like it uh, please like and subscribe and if you want or if you create such cool small tools do share with me i really love to talk about them in my next videos so yeah that's about it thank you so much for watching i want to create more such content so yeah please subscribe and press that bell icon as well bye bye